All right, so let's look at 21 or 22A and B, Allison. So, all right. In a factory, there are 35 union workers and 14 non-union workers. A is what is the ratio of non-union to union? 14 to 35. We're going to reduce that. How are we going to reduce it? By two. Okay. What should we reduce it by? Seven. And you get two to five. So you have two union workers for every, or two non-union workers for every five union workers. Okay? Then B, what is the ratio of union workers, 35, to the total number of workers, 49? Again, you're going to take a seven out and five to seven. Good, Allison. Number 22, C and D. What is the ratio of the number of non-union workers to total number of workers? So 14 non, total 49. Two to seven. Okay? Oh, sorry, we'll get it. <laughs> Okay, so the ratio of the number of non-union workers is 14. The total number of workers is 49. So remember, very key, whatever the question asks first, mentions first, references first, goes on top. The second piece goes on bottom. And then D, what is the ratio of union workers? 35. To non-union workers, 14, take a 7 out of that, 5 to 2, okay? I think that might have been the one you were doing up there, Hema. Okay. Denzel answered 16 questions correctly and 4 questions incorrectly, okay? 23A, what is the ratio of correct 16? To incorrect, 4. So if we just write that as a fraction, take a 4 out, 4 to 1. What is the ratio of correct, 16, to total, 20? We just write that as a fraction. Again, take a 4 out, 4 to 5. Okay? 23C, Fred, what is the ratio of incorrect, 4, to total, 20? Again, we just take a four out, one to five. Good job. Number 24A, Alicia, a manufacturer produced 1,000 electric switches. Of these, 50 were found to have defects. 24A, what is the ratio of defective? 50 to total switches, 1,000. Take a 50 out. 1 to 20, as she says. Good job, Alicia. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So we'll do B since you, you have B done. What is the ratio of defective to good switches? So out of 1,000 switches, right, if there's 50 defective, how many right or non-defective? 950, good. Twenty. Okay. So fifty. You take a fifty out, give us one. Take a fifty out, gives us nineteen. As he said, good job, Esteban. Number C or twenty-four C. What is the ratio of good switches? Nine fifty to total switches. One thousand. And take a fifty out. You're going to get nineteen. And take a fifty out. And you're going to get what? 20. 1920. Good job, Esteban. Make sense?
So a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. A ratio can be written as a fraction, but it is not a fraction. And we have to make sure to reduce and simplify them for the purposes of the GED. That's how they're going to want the answers. Okay.